Well, here I am with a trusty 265 again, and I'm about to try and take the radiator out. Uh, basically, what I've got to do, undo that pipe down there, drain the water out, undo the top pipe there, undo the bolts down the side here. These are already missing, actually. So that top bolt there, the bolts, retaining bolts here, here, one missing down the bottom already, one there, one there. I've taken that bolt out of there just to see what it's like, so I've got that one out. Um, air filter's got to come off as well. Let's swing that back. Then this grill's got to go back. So it's basically a lot of fiddling around. So we'll see how we get on. You can see that pouring out of there. So I got the bottom pipe off, and that's just draining the whole system out. Doesn't look like there's much antifreeze in there, which isn't very good. Anyway, I should top that up when I um, when I refill the new radiator. Right, I'm going to just undo the bolts now. Right, so that cowling there pulled back a bit. And I've got a container here, I always put my bolts in. Don't want to lose the bits. So there we go, that's one bolt down. We've got four more of those to do. I'm not going to video all four, um, but we'll see how we get on in a minute. Okay, so I think I've got all the bolts and everything in place. 
all the ones that are in the way out of the way. Now then, the hardest bit is going to be getting this out. Although, you can see there it's ready to go. I think this is in the way. I might have to take that other thing off to get it back a bit. Um, obviously, it's one of those things where I've never done this before. I'm not 100% sure how well I'll get on, but we'll see. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Okay, so I just had a little go at lifting this. I didn't film the first attempt because I knew it probably wouldn't go that smoothly. And sure enough, it didn't. Um, and what I found, this cowling was in the way, so I've had to take some more of the pipes off. All the pipes, the water pipes now. Um, and I think I'm actually ready to um, pull this bad boy out. So I'm going to get up on the old step ladder and um, attempt to... Uh, There you go, I got it out. There's the void where I've got, I've got the radiator out. It was a little bit tricky. I got slightly caught on the fan. Much better now I've got these pipes off completely. Um, see there's a bit of a muck in there. I think I'll clean that out before I put the new radiator in. Let's go and have a look at the old, old radiator. So here we are. Let's put it in the sunlight so we can have a better look at it. 135 year old radiator. You can see a lot of dirt on the front there. Now there's no obvious hole on it, but ultimately somewhere in there one of these cavities or fins is leaking. I think down the bottom here because it's actually still wet. Um, and let's have a look. Flip it over. The rust marks on it don't look particularly promising. That probably shows maybe some water. What I might do later is um, bung it up and see if I can get any water run out of the holes. You can see the sludge inside. That's what can kill a radiator, the sludge in the fins. So anyway, ultimately there's one dead radiator and I'll get the new one out of the box.